there and welcome to the parallax headshot section 6. In this section we're going to be creating a few more of our heads up displays. Uh, we're going to be creating a really cool gas sensor that kind of displays like nitrogen and oxygen and things like that levels and uh, we're going to create like a cool glow inside the helmet that makes it look like he's actually in space. Alright cool let's go ahead and get our start. So the first thing we're going to do Let's create a new layer and a new group. You're probably used to that by now. We're going to create like a basically like a grid here on the front of our subject's helmet. And we're going to use the step and repeat to do that. So let's start it off with our rectangular marquee tool. We're going to make a selection right over here, holding down the shift key, just a little square, just like that. All right. Now I'm going to grab. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool and then hold Alt or Option to grab a color here from my helmet. There we go. So that color and then we're going to hit Shift Delete and we're going to fill it with our foreground color. So it looks just like that. Okay. Now just like we did when we were creating the heads up display in the eye, we're going to use our step and repeat to go ahead and step that downwards. So Option Command T starts our step and now I'm just going to click on the down arrow a few times. There we go. Let's hit enter and then shift option command T is going to create us. There we go. It's going to create us quite a few of those little squares. So that looks great. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do this a couple more times. So on a new layer, we're going to do basically the same kind of thing here, except this time we'll make a different shape, something like that. All right. We're going to hit shift delete, fill that with our foreground color. And then Option Command T, we're just going to bring this down. Now we're going to change the spacing up so they're a little bit closer together. All right, cool. That looks good. And then we're going to create one more layer, and I'm just going to create a very thin, thin line. There we go. Fill that with our foreground color, and there we go. Let's turn this into a selection. Command click on that. Option Command T. And we're going to bring this right down there as well. All right. And then Shift Option Command T. Ah! Blast. They didn't get aligned. Oh well. You know what would be a good way to do this? All right. Let's just merge these two layers together instead of doing that in two separate runs. Let's just do it in one. I'm going to delete everything except for that. All right, and you know what? I'm going to shrink this down in height a little bit. All right, there we go. And we'll just do that shape instead of the combination of the two. All right, so Command click on just this one. Option Command T. All right. And then Shift Option Command T for the rest of those. All right, very cool. And now let's move that to the right. So basically we have a little like grid system set up for us here. Now I'm going to hit shift click the two of those layers and hit command E to merge those together. So we just have this little thing that's going to show up on the left side there. All right. Now we do want to add a little bit of a glow and we can do that in a number of ways. Uh, previously we've just duplicated the layer and then blurred it. You can also double click on the layer and go to outer glow. And in this case we're going to choose a color that's similar to what we've got going on there. There we go. And just bring our size up a little bit. That's going to give us a nice little glow on the outside of there. All right. And then we're going to hit V for the move tool and then hit shift to scroll through our different blending modes. And it looks like color dodge looks pretty good. So we'll try color dodge. Now this guy, I want to make it look like it curves with our helmet. So we're going to hit command T to transform it. Okay, and now we're going to click on this warp tool right here. In our warp, I'm going to choose arc. Now by default, it arcs in that direction. You can actually change the direction of your arc by clicking on this button here. There we go. So this is the arc we want, and we're just going to bring our bend down a little bit. We don't want so much of a bend in it. All right. Cool, that looks pretty good. Hit enter there, and then maybe give it a little bit of a rotation. All right, let's shrink it down a little bit. All 
All right, and there we have our shape that kind of is a little bit of a grid. You know what, I think that was actually nicer before. Our grid on the left-hand side. And we're gonna lower our opacity there quite a bit. All right. Yeah, you know what, that looks pretty good. It's a definitely a little bit too, it, there's like too much. So I'm gonna hit Command T, we're gonna kind of squish this down a little bit. It was just showing up like a little bit too much in my opinion. I think it was affecting too much. All right, now let's hit Command T. We'll go to our warp again. Switch our arc. And we'll change our bend. All right, that looks good. And now it can look like it's kind of like on the outside of the visor there. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's put a layer mask on that. And then with my brush tool, I'm just going to paint black on my layer mask right over here. There we go. So it's on the outside of our visor. Cool. Let's hit Command T and just rotate that a little bit more. All right. Very nice. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new layer, and I'm just going to grab a, an elliptical marquee tool. There we go. Something like that. And then with a very large soft edge brush, inside of this layer, we're just going to paint a little bit of the same color and hit Command D to deselect. There we go. And that just makes it look as though it's a little bit of like glow inside of there. And I'm going to change my layer blend mode to overlay. So a little bit of detail in there. Now at this point, it's kind of getting a little crowded. This detail there in the back, I'm like, man, you know what? I might not even, might not even want that detail there in the back. Um, there we go. Of our, yeah, that guy right there. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I don't know if I even want that there. Maybe that guy. We'll lower the opacity a bit, a little bit more. It's just getting so crowded. I just, I don't want to take away from the overall effect. All right, that looks really cool. So there we have a little bit more detail using the step and repeat and then just a regular marquee. All right, so now it's time for our gas sensor. So we're gonna create a new layer, and group it with itself, Command G to do that. And then we're gonna use our type tool. We're just gonna click down here and I'm gonna start typing away nitrogen all right that's gonna be our first gas so just basically click and type in nitrogen now the font we're using is actually available to you um, right over here let me just grab this real quick there we are here in your support folder you can see this is the DS digital font which is from defont.com so if you follow this link you can download that font and then you can use it in this tutorial so let's go to window and down here to character. All right, and I'm gonna just type in DS Digital. All right, we'll bring our letter spacing back down to zero and looks pretty good. All right, so we have nitrogen, we have oxygen. Let's jump, double click there. All right. We have argon. Who knew there was argon in the atmosphere, but I guess there is. All right, and then we have CO2. CO, and then I'll hit Command J to duplicate that. Type in two, we'll lower the size of that a little bit, and that'll just go right down there. All right. Cool. CO2. All right, now we're gonna left align all of these. So from nitrogen all the way over, let's just, you know what, CO2, this is gonna, we're gonna group those together. There we go. Let's shift click all those and hit our move tool and then use our left align to align those just like that. Perfect. And now our color, we're gonna change this to like a nice bright yellow, yellowish orange. All right, looking good. Okay, so we have all those ready to go. Let's hit Command T to 
transform these. There we go. So that's going to be on one half of our little visor there. We will space those apart a little bit. Oxygen will bring down, argon will bring down a little bit more, and then this will bring down a little bit more as well. Now with this as well, let's just zoom in, you can shift click a few different layers and if you want them all to be aligned on their vertical centers, we're just going to click here which spaces them properly, correctly. Like for instance, this oxygen was right here. Shift click all those layers and then click on, let's see what they call this here in Photoshop, distribute vertical centers. Click there and it's going to align them all perfectly for you. All right. That looks really good. Now we're going to start playing around with our levels. So here in our heads up display, the heads up display that we grabbed earlier, we did have a couple heads up displays that we didn't wind up using. Where were they? This guy was one of our heads up displays that we didn't wind up using. So let's just bring it th that to the very top. All right, basically this is just a shape with a little bit of a curve there down at the end. All right, so let's use let's use the bottom shape. I'm just going to make a selection out of the top shape and then hit delete. All right, and then the bottom shape we're going to select part of it, hit command T and then I'm just going to stretch that over. All right. And now this we want to be basically like the same yellow. Okay? So we're just going to hit command U click on colorize, bring our lightness up and our saturation and then the color we're going to choose a nice yellowish orange. Alright and let's just squish this up a little bit. And also keep in mind that this is like you know these are just shapes that you know we made for this tutorial. Obviously you can use what whatever you want. Alright cool so we have a couple of those shapes. I'm going to hit command J to duplicate that for each of the one of those shapes. All right, shift click all those and align them on the vertical centers again. Very cool. And now we're going to type in some percentages. All right, so nitrogen here, we're going to duplicate command J to duplicate that and we're going to move this over and this is going to be 78 percent. Now I actually looked up the um, <laughs> the atmosphere of the earth for these levels so like um, it's like uh, I have no idea but now I get to learn the atmosphere of the earth is 78 percent nitrogen. Who knew? Alright, it's 21 percent oxygen, 0.91 percent argon. Alright, point. There we go. And then CO2. There we go. That's going to be 1%. Very cool. Alright, and let's bring that 1% down, which means we'll bring the CO2 down as well. All right, cool. So basically what we've done is just grab a bunch of like text, a bunch of type, and a bunch of these like little line things here that kind of like go from one side to the other. Now I'm going to shift click all those and merge them together. I'm just going to change the color a little bit. I want it to be a little bit different from the, here we go, just a little bit different from the, uh, from the text there. All right, so basically we have that in one, like in, like this is one layer and this is a group. So we're going to shift click those and group them together. There we go. Make that visible and invisible. And now I'm going to duplicate that entire group by hitting Command J and hit Command E to merge it together. So just like we did with the helmet, we created this one graphic out of like a bunch of different elements. And now I'm basically, I know that I want them all together just like that. So I'm just going to leave them as one layer. But if I need to, I've got everything here in this group as well. So if I need to go back in time, I can totally do that. But until then, I'm just going to use this one layer. 
All right, cool. And now what we're going to do is transform this. So Command T to transform. All right, we're going to right click here and I'm going to go to warp, which is going to allow me to warp this up. There we go. And down to make it look as though it's following the shape of our visor. Again, the whole point is to make it look like it's part of the actual visor. All right. Cool. So with these warp tools, basically I'm just grabbing each of these control points and pushing and pulling them around till they start to conform to our visor. Now if I want to see what this looks like before I apply my transformation, just hit Ctrl or Command H. That's going to hide your little tools there, but you can still move it around. So we're just going to click there. makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing. Cool. So it's like a really cool readout of all your oxygen levels and things like that. And I guess it is reversed, but um, <laughs> here we go. Looks really good. So let's hit enter and that applies our transformation. All right, cool. Now it's time to flip through our blend mode. So let's hit V for our move tool and shift plus and minus to flip through our different blend modes. And there we go. That looks really cool, that color dodge. All right, and I'm just gonna duplicate this layer just like we're doing with pretty much everything else. We'll go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. All right, just to give it a little bit more of a glow effect. All right. And on a new layer, I'm just going to grab this like nice yellow color here, grab my brush tool, and then hold Alt or Option to grab this yellow color. And that's just, there we go. And we're going to paint over there and over there. Change this layer blend mode from normal down to overlay. And then let's lower our opacity there. Very cool. All right. There we go. And that is our shape that we created just from some words and some text. So let's shift click all those, group those together. All right, double click there and we'll call that gas sensor. Very, very cool. All right, guys. And now we're ready to start like moving some things around. Let's see the, this group here. You know what this, I think we can maybe bring in just a little bit more. All right, let's put it on our layer mask. Let's paint that black on the layer mask there. Cool. So now we have pretty much all of our elements in place. It's time to just like go in and start adjusting like the brightness of everything and like how we want everything to affect one another. And that we're going to do in our next section. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next section.